I don't do many Dollar Tree DIYs, but when I do, I try to bring my A game. And that's what we're doing today is I've got some really amazing Dollar Tree DIYs slash hacks. And let's get started with our first DIY. So I came across all of these little wall stickers. They're jumbo floral stickers. And I'd seen similar stuff there before, but these were a little bit larger and way more amazing. I just absolutely loved these. So I knew immediately when I saw those that I needed to make something really cool. And in my mind, that was going to be a like floral art piece. So what I did is I recently rated the 75% off section at Hobby Lobby. And I know that's not Dollar Tree, but they I picked up a whole bunch of these what I call blanks because I'm not gonna necessarily leave them in their original format, but they are so cheap. We're talking like three to five dollars for each one of these. And they're a little more substantial in size and and more decorative. So for me, splurging a little bit more on something a little bit larger will give us a better end result. So I took a blank and I decided to paint out the center all white to give us a blank canvas. So the whole piece ended up being white. Once that was dry, I taped off the intersection of the canvas and with some painter's tape, covered it up. And then I took it outside and spray painted it in a gold leaf spray paint and this gave us a really pretty gold color for the frame and gave us a really beautiful blank canvas then I took our Dollar Tree wall stickers and I peeled off this one right here and lined it up on either edge of our canvas. Then I decided to put a name on it and what I did is I cut out in some chipboard on my Cricut Maker 3 um, my daughter's name and I thought that I would turn this into like a name art piece for her. Now she's a little bit older. She's like college aged and <laughs> I was a little worried at first that this might be a little juvenile for her but hang on with me for a second and I'll tell you what she thought about it when I sent her a picture of it but I cut her name out and the font that I used was stay girly because this is definitely like a girly type piece here and once that was cut out I took it outside and spray painted it in that same gold color that we had used on the border now if you don't have a Cricut maker you can buy like a small name piece off of Etsy. There's lots of sellers that sell that or maybe even create some out of like block letters that you can find at any of the craft stores. So you don't necessarily have to do it this way. Hopefully this will get your creative juices flowing. So once this was dry, I laid it on and then I felt like it was a little blank. So I kind of played around with some different options, like a littler one to put in the center. I didn't really like that too much. So then I took a more like fuchsia colored peony one and cut that down the middle and split it between the top and the bottom, kind of creating like a floral border around our canvas. And I'm like, this is looking pretty good. I was really happy with how it was looking. And then I'm like, no, I want it to pop out just a little bit more. I want it to be slightly more three dimensional than, than laying it flat down. I mean, we did have some dimension from the thickness of the chipboard, but I wanted it to even pop off even more. So I was rummaging through my stash because I don't want to have to go out and buy something if, if I can find something that will work in my craft supplies. And I had some beads left over from something else. They were flat and they were all the same size. So I went ahead and picked out enough to get this job done. And then I just hot glued these beads to the back of the letters. And then once we got them on all of the letters and we hot glued the, the back of the beads to the board, if that makes sense. And then we are left with this really cute art piece. Now I'm gonna hold off giving you a lot of the finished shots right now because I'm in my next DIY, it's kind of a little bit of a vignette, but here's like a little sneak peek of what it looks like. But hang with me because my next DIY is so awesome and it kind of goes together. For my next DIY, we are gonna be making some really elegant wall sconces 
out of the Dollar Tree napkin holder. <laughs> You're probably going, what? <laughs> okay, so just bear with me. We're gonna use some other supplies, not from the Dollar Tree, because it's a really cool end result and the items are pretty affordable. So I think you'll be very pleased. I actually saw like a similar idea on Pinterest somewhere, and I will link the inspiration piece down in my description box below, because I think it's a, a smaller creator and I want you to go over and give her some love. But I kind of took it in a little different direction. And so you can go see hers and then you can see how I interpreted it. It's really, really fun. So we're gonna take this napkin holder you can get at pretty much any Dollar Tree. And then there's this metal ribbon that you can get at Hobby Lobby and always buy everything at Hobby Lobby when it's on sale because everything goes on sale eventually. So it's a really pretty metal ribbon. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of wrap it around the front of, or the top, I guess it would be, of the napkin holder. And we're gonna take some wire and twist it into place and to hold in place really well. Once we get the metal ribbon attached to our napkin holder, I took it outside and I sprayed it in a gold spray paint and I wanted to try something different because I really like the 18 karat gold spray paint. I use it a lot. I think it's by Krylon, but it's not always available. So I wanted to try out some different spray paints because I knew that there would be a different color. Well, this regular gold was a little bit too bronzy or too brown. It was not a bright gold that I like to use. So I went back to that gold leaf spray paint that I used on the frame and I I sprayed out the metal ribbon and the napkin holder all over. I flipped it over and let it dry. Then I ordered some of these oval shaped crystals off of Amazon and I'll link them below. I'll hang on to the extra ones for another project, but I just pulled out what we needed for this one. And then I took some more gold wire and wired them into place in those like vacant holes. You just fill that in with the oval crystal. Then once that's attached, you're gonna need some little strands of crystal. And I bought a huge packet of these like a couple of years ago. I have it in my stash ready to go. They're very affordable. I got them off of Amazon. I'll link that as well. And I kind of alternated links of three and links of four. And you'll see why that's gonna um, make sense here in a second. And then to the bottom of those strands, I took, I got this package at Hobby Lobby, 50% off. So it was like $5 for 48 of these little crystals. And they're not really crystals, they're plastic, but they look pretty good. <laughs> and I just wired those to the ends of our strands. And they come with a large size and then they have a smaller size. And I use pretty much all of the smaller size ones. And then um, we rotated again, the, the three length and the four length. And we just threaded that on, rotating those longer, shorter ones so it staggered the height. And that way you could get more on there without it looking too busy. Hopefully you're still with me on this. At this point, I'm like dying. I'm loving it so much. And then I twisted on just some more gold wire to kind of wrap around any um, screws that we use to hang it on the wall. and. Then I hung it on the wall and um, just using some screws, making sure it's level. And then I needed a way to light it up because it's like a little wall sconce. Now Dollar Tree does sell some like light packs. This is not that. I actually bought a whole package of little puck lights. So I had these already on hand, but totally you could use the Dollar Tree lighting pucks. Once you have your puck light that you're gonna use, all you're gonna do is just kind of slip it up and under and set it on like that middle wire rack. It like rests right on it you, and it's perfect. You don't need to glue it down or anything. Gravity kind of holds it into place and it's perfect. So super easy way to add that. What's cool about this one is it comes with a remote so you can turn it on and off with a remote control so that's kind of fun right because once you hang it on the wall you could just use the remote control to control these little lighting packs and i also like the little gold edge detail because it kind of matches our little light uh, fixtures you end up with a really 
bougie, we'll call it. <laughs> Light fixture is super fun. And here it is with the name art that we just created and it makes such a really cute vignette. Now, I I sent the picture of this to my daughter and I said, is this, is this too little girl for you? And she's like, no, I love it. <laughs> so I was really relieved about that because I'm like, I don't know, but this would look really cute in your craft room. It would look really cute in a girl's room. You could switch out a few elements and change it out. You could use the word love or hope or peace or whatever it doesn't have to be a name and you can create this really beautiful vignette some of the stuff from the dollar tree some of the stuff from other places but creating a really high-end beautiful look i just love this i don't know what do you think of it Last year, I came across these little peel and stick stickers from the Dollar Tree. I tried to do a DIY with them, but it didn't really have like the impact that I wanted and they were okay, but not my favorite. Okay, the other day I walked in and saw this pressed tile. Okay, I don't know if you can see the difference. Like the dimension on this is like hardly nothing. This, the texture on this is amazing and I'm like, Dollar Tree, that's pretty impressive. It's like a, like a faux Preston tile, and I definitely knew I wanted to do something with this. So I took a wood canvas that I pick up from Walmart, and I believe they're about 12 inches square. I can't remember the price of them, and all I did was peel off the backing of this sticker tile and stick it down to the clock. And then I wanted to have kind of like that antique to paint it down effect. So I painted the whole thing out in a white chalk paint and I was looking at it and I was like, you know, that's okay. But I had a frame that was kind of broken. It had like one little crack in the bottom and the glass was broken. I had stepped on it by accident. But I'm like, well, it doesn't have any glass in it anymore. So maybe I can just add, add that to what I've got going on to add a little bit of more interest and finish it off a little bit more. So I just hot glued that on top of our painted out white and then um, painted that out white. And then to kind of give it an antique look, I took some sandpaper and kind of roughed it down a little bit so that some of that gray would pop through, kind of like you would see on like an aged antique press tin. And I'm like, this is looking so good. It looks so authentic. And then I took out my drill and drilled a hole in the center and we added like a clock kit to it you know you just kind of attach that on the back and then on the front and then we have a really cute working clock this clock is gonna look so super cute in my bedroom it just really has a really cute feel i feel like this would make a really good gift uh, idea for not very much money but i do have to say that i am just super impressed with this it'd be really interesting to see somebody do a backsplash using this and like paint it out in the same manner i feel like that could look really really good based off of the results of my clock i am really happy with how this little clock turned out and i hope you like it too you threw because we only want what's best What's best for you? So I went to Dollar Tree and I, I kind of went nuts. <laughs> I had a huge haul. I was just so impressed with some of the things I had seen there. And I don't know, is that something, like if I did like my favorite Dollar Tree buys, is that a video that you'd wanna see? If so, let me know. I just, I don't know if that's something you would all wanna watch or not, but there were some really cool products I was pretty impressed with. stretching the envelope a little bit with these past DIYs using some stuff from other stores to kind of like give it a more elevated look. This next one though, I pretty much mostly used just Dollar Tree stuff and I found those cathedral windows, maybe you've seen them, and I thought, you know, we could really kind of replicate an idea I did last year with a garden fencing with this idea. So I took four of the cathedral windows and I glued them to the around the edges of a, one of their art pieces that they have there for a dollar and 
then it, it left like a little tiny gap in the corner so I took out a square dowel and I cut them down using this little mini table saw that I got recently. It was the first time I used this table saw and I'm still kind of testing it out so the jury's still out on whether I like this or not. I like the idea of it. I wasn't like uber impressed with the cut just because it didn't seem like super straight and it was a little bit hard so I think that there's room for improvement on this tool but it was really kind of cool to not have to go cut it down on my saw outside so that was kind of handy um, to just cut down these little dowels with but I cut down some dowels and I filled in those cracks and I kind of glued that into place and then I just had some little finials on hand so I finished that out and added little finials on top of each one of these little dowels and that was it for the structure of it then I took it outside and I spray painted the whole thing gray with a gray primer because at first I thought I might sand it down and distress it I didn't end up doing that part but then I followed it up with a flat white spray paint and I did a couple of coats making sure to get everything I kind of tilted it up sprayed it everywhere and that's it and then I have a really cool like awesome candle holder I could you know maybe put a little clear base inside it with some flowers sticking out the top but it's a really cute decorative piece made with mostly Dollar Tree items you could switch out those dowels and use like Jenga pieces and make it fully Dollar Tree but the end product of this is so super cute I just love it I think it's a really cute cute piece and I hope you like it too. On that haul that I was talking about, I came across these new metal tins. They had like little seahorses on them and little crabs on them. And I thought those were really cute. I especially loved the crab one because it gave me like an idea of to do something nautical. So the first thing I did is painted out my tin in a sea foam craft paint and I think that's actually the color so I did that and then I'm like well maybe what if we painted out the little crab red so I tried that out and I knew I wanted it to be a little bit rustic so once that was all dried I kind of like sanded it down and I didn't love it <laughs> so I just went back in and repainted over the crab in the original seafoam color and then did a little light sanding to just kind of give it like a rustic flair then I took some wood rounds that I pick up at Hobby Lobby I always have them on hand they come in like a two pack and I put a little bit of water in a cup and I put in some gray craft paint and some brown craft paint and kind of made a stain out of that or a color wash and I mixed that up and I put that on the wood round and then let that fully dry. Then I took out my drill and drilled a hole and then I took a little crab knob that I found at Hobby Lobby and attached that to the wood tin and then you have your topper really cute and you put it on directly on top of your can and you have a really adorable canister. Now, several episodes ago, I created this little kitschy kind of lobster trap on a thrift flip and I think this looks super adorable together as like a little set and I have the perfect spot for it in our home in Maine. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because coming up, we are gonna be doing a room makeover in our Airbnb up in Maine. And these are gonna travel up there and it's not gonna be in maybe that living room makeover, but I, I'll take these with me and show you where I put them in that episode coming up. So I'm really excited. I just think this is a really adorable jar and it's gonna look super cute in the little kitchenette there in Maine so stay tuned for that so for this next DIY it is so easy when I saw this pill and stick wallpaper the first thing that came to mind was this pottery barn piece that I had seen and been kind of looking at for months and months now and I I'm like maybe we can do like a little pottery barn knockoff you're gonna need one of these frames they're square they're 12 by 12 it's the same one we used for the pressed tin tile and this and all we did is take it all apart and then cut this down to fit in the frame and then I didn't want to do a new mat because it already came with one so all I did is cut the mat out into a square moving any of the black 
and just very carefully cut that out. Now you could use like a straight edge and an X-Acto knife. I just use scissors. I wasn't being super precise, but, and if you wanted to do a larger mat, you could take some poster board and make something that was a little bit thicker. But this ended up being like a $2.50 DIY knockoff of Pottery Barn. Now the Pottery Barn pictures are a little bit larger, but they are about $200, I believe. <laughs> So $2.50 is a pretty good match and maybe not identical. It really does lend itself to like, it's a very similar feel and it was super cheap. It's adorable for $2.50. Can't hardly beat that. So that's, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed that one. So like I said, I don't do a ton of Dollar Tree DIYs, but when I do, I try to bring my A game. I really hope you enjoy them. And if you want to see more of this content, make sure you hit the like button below and it helps me to know if this is something that you really want to see in the future and if you enjoyed this episode here's another one that I think you'll like as well and if you haven't done so already consider hitting that subscribe button right here it's super easy to do and I would love it if you joined the DIY Niner family and to all of my DIY Niners I just want to remind you once again that you are more powerful than you know we'll see you next time bye